Hi there, I'm Robert B. Scott of FreedomTruthSeekers.com and FreedomChurchOfGod.com. Why do Christians ignore the Sabbath? There are two reasons, maybe more, but two reasons I can think of, and that's fear and deception. Fear and deception. We'll start with deception because it seems so clear when, when you got the Ten Commandments that are the law of God given to Israel, and Jesus never said they were done away. It says the Fourth Commandment, it says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember. Isn't it interesting how the Christian world has forgotten the one commandment Jesus said to remember? Isn't that a little bit bizarre? Isn't it a necessity that Satan would deceive us? Because it's so clear. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. They don't keep the day that God made holy, which is the seventh. They keep the first day holy, which never was a commandment of God. They added that onto it. So somebody's lying here. Somebody's lying, and it's not us. And the second reason is fear. Fear keeps people from keeping the Sabbath. Why? Because they look at all the Christian world. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's keeping Sunday. The big names, the big guys, the big guns, they're keeping Sunday. So how could we go against them? Well, Jesus said the time is coming when that way that is narrow will get so narrow that you will be... You will be certainly persecuted for keeping that way. Now, there is a time element. God gives us time to repent for the Christian world. It's got to be a total turnaround. It, there's got to be a catalyst for somebody who knows Jesus, who's, who's famous, and keeps the Sabbath day. It's going to have to bring, be brought forth. Maybe that's you watching this. Maybe you're a minister. Maybe you're a preacher. Well, why don't you look into the Bible and, and begin to embrace the Sabbath day? Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Now, there's the converse of that, the inverse, and that is, in the last days, when the Sabbath is revealed, if you don't keep my commandments, you're saying, you hate me. You hate me. Those are strong words. That's what Jesus would say. Once the Sabbath is revealed in a bigger way, once we understand that the Christian world has, has seen the truth about the Sabbath, they can either take it or leave it. But if they leave it, they're saying they hate Jesus. And they're also saying, he says, if you reject my Sabbath, you'll say you're rejecting me, and I will have to reject you. When the great tribulation comes upon the world and upon these nations, the Western nations, you will not be saved. You will have to go through it. You will have to die, and you will be the person of the eighth day. You will be the one who will later, much later, receive Jesus and receive his tr full truth in a coming after the millennium, there's a resurrection, Revelation 20, verse 5. You will have to wait until that time. Do you want to wait, or do you want to be part of the bride of Jesus? Do you want to be part of the rapture people who are taken out of this mess coming? The day is coming when it's going to be known more, more severely, and you need to know, this is, these are strong words. If you love me, Jesus said, you will keep all my commandments.